I'd like to find the road we roam together, swinging along, finding the long way home. We didn't mind the time or place for weather, singing a song, finding the long way home. Remember, I used to sigh at the end of each day, dear. What's going on, house lovers and explorers? All right, I filmed a home right here at the start of 2020. Beautiful old late 50s, early 60s time capsule. And at that point, I always wondered whether this one was empty. Now, thanks to Helen, she gave me a reminder about this one. It's going to be knocked over very soon. Uh, salvage container is there. I took a walk around the back, haven't been inside, but it looks like maybe squatters were inside. So we're going to go through and see what's left. Kind of got lucky breaking the rain, but definitely a uh, 50s home, I reckon, guys. Early 50s. Yeah, I'll post a couple of photos of the uh, yellow brick 60s home that was here. Very much a time capsule, that one. Shopping trolleys everywhere, and there was a heap of junk inside, from what I could see. Now we'll check that shed at the end too. I think that is. The shed doors banging against the bricks. Oh. Yeah, it looks pretty trashed. Whoa. Hello? Anyone here? Man. It's hard to tell if this was a family or if there was squatters with so much stuff in here. Clothes. But this is the kitchen. Ugh, there's rotten food, lollipops. Here's a little kid's potty lid. Oh, there's the potty there. Photo of Sydney, Sydney Harbour. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no, it's a petition. I think they've converted um, 
a dining room into a bedroom here. Look at that. For a second I was thinking, oh no, it's a grow room. But it's just a makeshift partition. Which has turned it into a bedroom. And that, um, that wall, that's a brick wallpaper, it's not actually brick. It looks like they've redone that window as well. Oh no, yeah, there's, there's stale, rotting bread, donuts. I'm guessing it was squatters. Maybe utilised this place. So there's a door over there. But... I did see the entry over here as well, yeah. We'll just have to climb over this fold up bed. Oh, yeah, the bathroom and the loo here. Looks like it's a classic old bathroom, minus the pedestal sink. It's a shame. Terrazzo. Yeah, definitely thinking 50s for sure, guys. Yeah. There's another Sydney, an ode to Sydney. We'll go down this way first. Oh, okay. You know what? This was a grow room, uh, a grow house as well, or at least this room was definitely. Um, now the reason I say that, that's where the vent was. You've got hooks on the ceiling. They would have had chains on them to support the heating lamps. All the windows have had makeshift frames put around them, which would have had these coverings on them and sealed to stop any um, smell getting out. Wow, you know what? This is the third grow house in this week of filmed. But I've said it before, guys. Um, it's kind of not surprising because if people trash them growing dope, there's a high chance they're going to be on a demolition list, aren't they? more kids stuff here see this one was yeah another room so my guess is squatters have moved in here afterwards and um, kind of ripped all the window coverings off and made it the best they could. Yep. It's quite a sad though, isn't it? See, they've even put that um, stuff along the bottom of the floor there as well.
Hmm. So I'm guessing this was another one. Yep, looks like another bedroom. There's the window cover. Wallpapered the uh, <laughs> the glass part. Oh, yeah, that's to disguise the silver tape. I think that's been, yeah, that's been that's that goes through to the kitchen originally. That's a petition. Kind of 60s lights. Maybe this home's like a, like the neighbour one, right on the verge of late 50s, early 60s. Oh, hang on, let me just check. That's that uh, first bedroom we went into. Yeah, there's the kitchen. And you know how we can tell it's the dining room, guys? There's the porthole, the portal window window. Very popular through the 50s. Double doors to the front living room. Yeah, that's an Art Deco heater surround. And this room was exactly the same. Yeah, it's a 50s ceiling. That's 50s ceiling plaster work too, but look at this. This... They've made a... They've made a petition and sectioned off that portion of the living room. There's not actually a door in there, so maybe maybe instead of doing those windows properly, they just uh, petitioned off. Yeah. Well, I'm sure this home was a nice 50s home at some point, but another one wasted. I guess I'm kind of, well don't read too much into it guys, Adelaide is a nice city to live, it's not full of <laughs> drug growers, although some, some may beg to differ. But this is a side, the side entrance, guys. So we'll go out and look in that shed. Maybe we can go out there. Nope. So yeah, we'll go out and see what's in that shed. Sorry about that gate, there's some more kid stuff.
huge shed. Oh, we've got an old fridge. No old classic cars, Ken, sorry. You could fit a few in here though. What sort of old fridge this is one, this one. The Kelvinator. Cheese and butter. Probably still work if you plugged it in. So, again, they could have probably decked out. This shed is bigger than the home, and there's another shed over through there. But you know what? There is um, silver. The silver stuff on that shed too, so maybe there was some sort of operation in here as well. Oh yeah, this one, uh, it's got the same sort of ceiling. Oh, and there's some barrels over there guys. Yeah. Definitely, they probably started off in the sheds and then converted the home as well. What about this one? No, this one kind of just normal tin garden shed. Same style green bags we saw in another one this week. Those leaves look familiar. Now, so it was a big operation as well. All right, well, that's it. I'll just wrap it up here, guys. Another one. Adelaide just keeps on giving with the dope houses. All right, guys, jump in the comments, and um, I'm going to move on to the next one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye. What is going on, guys? All right, I've just come straight from another one that Helen gave me the tip off for, and this is the second one that I referred to. And I have taken a walkthrough of this one already. And it's actually an early 50s home that has had an absolute 
uh, modern overhaul inside. The place is immaculate, but it's very, very bland compared to what we're used to seeing. But I'm still going to take you. No, I'm still, still going to take you on a walk through, guys, and just show you. Um, well, there's actually a couple of clone villas right there. They're actually clones of the old style. And uh, this one's up for redevelopment, so let's take a look. It'll be quite a quick walkthrough because it's just very, very uh, sanitized and modern and plain now. Yeah, so it's had a complete overhaul at some point in the recent few, uh, recent past. So there's a front bedroom here. Yeah, everything from the cupboards to the ceiling, lights, the ceiling, the ducted air conditioning and heating. Carpets also look redone. Doors, light switches, all new. Bathroom, brand spanking. And the place is immaculate. Brand new kitchen. Yeah, that's even a, uh, a marble. Kitchen top too. And we'll walk back through into the living room. I mean, they've done well to uh, modernize it, but it's obviously without furniture and paintings and pot plants, it is looking pretty sterile. Huge front window. It's still got the old, these old steel window frames came in in the late 40s, very early 50s. Bedroom. See, I, I like that kind of storage. There's no drawers, just compartments. Now, what's this? Must be a another bedroom. 
Yep. There is a few scribbles and drawings on the wall here and there, so there was children in here, but um, yeah, it's been kept in great condition. This is the dining room, off the kitchen. I did notice a little granny flat out the back there too, hopefully that's open. Now the laundry, uh, no, that's, we're not quite in the laundry, here we go. Yeah, that's even a, uh, it's definitely solid, whether it's real marble or a composite, I'm not sure, but it's definitely stone. And the toilet got to be there. All right. Yeah, a little. Now yeah, it looks like a granny flat, but it's also a carport. But you've got a tiny little backyard here. Well, it's still a decent size. There's something new over there, gone up, two levels. And next door, this new units. Patio, barbecue area. I mean, they, they did a great job with this place. What do we got? Oh, of, all, of all things to have locked. The house is unlocked, but that's locked. Oh, they even left the barbecue behind. The Rinai. Uh, there's no door down there, just and bobs. We'll check the carport door. No, no. That's locked as well. So, no go for the little shed or it's probably the shed and the carport. Yeah. Well, that's it guys. Not the greatest explore. It's on film now and you've seen it. Well, that's if I've uploaded it. And let's face it, if you're watching it, I've uploaded it. All right, on to the next one. Thanks again, Helen. Credit this one to you as well. And uh, I've got a few more on the list today to go and check. And uh, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye. Remember, I used to sigh at the end of each day.